And yesterday is a big day to move this through committee. It's huge. Uh, this was the major hurdle uh, that allows us to bring this bill to the House floor. Um, we've got the votes. Uh, we've got 213 co-sponsors from both political parties, and uh, we're going to have a big vote number. And uh, we're working with House leadership now to get this scheduled, but I've got their commitment. We're going to get it done before the end of the year. All right, so one of the things, I'll be honest with you, that NRA members are concerned about is an ununified Republican voice. Congressman Hudson, I know you're unified with the 5 million members of the NRA. Can you get the rest of your Republicans unified to get this thing moving forward? Well, we're unified in the House, and, uh, and it goes just beyond Republicans. There are a number of Democrats uh, who, who, uh, who do support freedom, support the Second Amendment. There's not enough, in my opinion, but uh, we've got three who've co-sponsored the bill. I think we'll have a number uh, that you'll see vote for it when it's on the House floor. I have said that whether it's a Republican or Democrat, if any one of them comes out against this, that we will use all we have here at NRA TV to go after them and call out their craziness for not supporting this bill. Are there any Republicans that are on the fence with this? Well, there always are, you know, but we're continuing to have those conversations. And, uh, you know, folks who are watching us today, uh, please call your member of Congress. Make sure they understand you, you want them to vote for this bill, whether Republican or Democrat. It's not too late. Uh, and the better number we can put up in the House, the more momentum we have going into the Senate. All right. So, Richard Hudson, you're from North Carolina, clearly a state that is rich in gun history. What was it that put you over the top that said, you know what, I got to author this bill and I got to champion it? Honestly, it was uh, reading about Shanine Allen, who's uh, the single mom from South Philly, uh, who was a victim uh, twice of armed robbery and decided to uh, take matters in her own hands to uh, legally purchase a firearm, to get training with that weapon, to get a concealed carry permit so she could defend herself and her children. Uh, but then shortly after that, Shanine was driving across the state line into New Jersey, routine traffic stop. She did exactly what she was instructed, gave her driver's license and concealed carry permit, identified herself as a concealed carry permit holder, notified the officer she had a weapon in her purse and uh, was put in jail for almost 50 days and was facing 10 years in prison. And uh, when you, you, you hear her story, uh, I've had a, great, a chance to meet and get to know Shanine. Um, wonderful woman, courageous woman. Uh, but she was looking at 10 years in prison because she crossed an imaginary line. Mm -hmm. This is a law-abiding citizen trying to do the right thing. And, uh, and, and that, to me, was sort of the last straw.